Hello guys and welcome to another episode of OpenRC22. Today we're gonna test if AI can design the perfect roller coaster. I started by giving the prompt to build the perfect roller coaster you have to. The AI turned that into to build the perfect roller coaster you have to consider the overall ride experience. The best ones give you the ultimate rush lasting for several minutes. The best feature should be without a doubt the initial dip at the very beginning. This is where you'll first notice how the looping and corkscrew abilities of your coaster are and how you'll be able to experience them as a complete ride. If this doesn't bring the smile you were looking for, it will take a lot to make you forget about it. So how do you build a perfect coaster experience? You can use this diagram as an example. The first loop is a key feature that keeps you riding for so long and we can't take it for granted either. And then there's something else about a third loop. Okay, so our coaster needs to be several minutes long, it needs an initial dip, it needs lots of loopings and corkscrews, and it obviously needs more than three loops. Then I gave the AI the prompt the perfect roller coaster starts with. The AI continued with the perfect roller coaster starts with the bend of a seam. Imagine a notch line in the grain where the grain is broken and the section breaks open. Just enough room for a wooden splint to fix it and allow it to be glued or painted, as the splint cures it. And I don't know what that was, but it certainly isn't a description of a roller coaster. That's why I gave the prompt, the perfect roller coaster looks like this. And the AI said, as the coaster starts to pick up speed, the cars suddenly pick up speed as well. The car that is next to you keeps increasing its speed. Then you release an acceleration cord that presses against you. For me, the most dangerous part is that you have a novice rider, the thought of the acceleration cord is enough to send you flying into the car in front of you. I usually put up the crossbars and slide along in my seat while watching for pedestrians and cars. I don't want to hit anybody. So it would be good if our coaster wouldn't hit anybody as well. So that's a point to consider. Okay, so we obviously need to pick up lots of speed. It also seems to be launched because of the acceleration cord. And it's a dueling coaster as there are two cars next to each other. And for some reason we also have pedestrians and cars to watch out for. Then I asked the AI the best roller coaster in the world starts with. And the AI said, the best roller coaster in the world starts with an underground parking lot and ends 500 feet below the Earth's surface. On one side it's pretty normal, a water park with a 50 foot slide, go-karts, bumper boats, an indoor roller coaster and lots of drinking options. The other side though is super freakish. The coaster's carriages slide out from underneath it into a tunnel that's longer than a mile and when it opens you're staring straight down a 120 foot tunnel into the Earth. The view is not for the squeamish. Okay, there's a lot of information in here. We have an underground parking lot and we end 500 feet below the Earth's surface. We also have a tunnel that's longer than a mile and a 120 foot tunnel into the Earth. Then the AI said that the perfect roller coaster has a perfectly smooth, seamless and silent ride with minimum g-forces. Riders need not wear special shoes, helmets or contact lenses, cause apparently they don't need to see anything. Riders need not consume any beverages as there is no need for chiller. I think that this contradicts the rest of the stuff we already got a little bit. So as a last prompt we're saying the perfect roller coaster has. And according to the AI, the perfect roller coaster has an average drop of 0.1 miles and averages 0.6 miles of inversions. Then there's something about Walt Disney World. And then we got an interesting part. Each ride consists of an elevator with a short drop followed by a vertical loop before dropping again and rising back up to the top. The second tier consists of a horizontal loop and a vertical drop before the second vertical loop. The final tier is two more vertical loops and then a second longer drop. So we got an average drop of 0.1 miles, we got 0.6 miles of inversions. Apparently our coast is structured like this, we got a drop, a loop, a drop, then we're going upwards, then we got another loop, a vertical drop, a loop, two loops and then a longer drop. Now with all of that information we can finally start building. Enjoy the time lapse!
Okay, so the coast is finished and it looks quite interesting. As you can see, it starts right here in an underground parking lot. So the launch and the dueling seem to work as intended. And this tunnel is actually about a mile long. What follows is the 120 foot tunnel into the earth. And then our 0 0.1 mile drop. And this right here is 0 0.6 miles of inversions. Now we got a drop, loop, a drop, we're going up, then there's another loop, a vertical drop, and then three loops. And all of this is followed by a longer drop. And we also managed to avoid all the pedestrians and cars. Now these helixes are just to make the ride duration a bit longer. And here we got some corkscrews. And we're ending about 500 feet below the surface. Or not really 500 feet cause that's the tallest tower I could build. You can see the stats of our coaster right here. That ultra extreme intensity definitely means that it's good. So that's it for today. That was kinda silly. I hope that you had some fun and see you next time.